Easter Sunday is a Christian holiday that celebrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. It is considered the most important holiday in Christianity as it symbolizes the fulfillment of the prophecies about the Messiah who would be persecuted, die for the sins of humanity, and rise from the dead. President Biden decided to replace Easter Sunday with Transgender Day of Visibility. Here's President Biden's statement. Now, therefore, I, Joseph R. Biden Jr., President of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024 as Transgender Day of Visibility. I call upon all Americans to join us in lifting up the lives and voices of transgender people throughout our nation and to work toward eliminating violence and discrimination based on gender identity. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand this 29th day of March in the year of our Lord 2024 and of the independence of the United States of America, the 248th. Americans are not happy with President Biden's bizarre announcement of Transgender Day of Visibility on Easter Sunday. Former President Trump released a statement demanding Biden to apologize to Catholics and Christians across America. It is appalling and insulting that Joe Biden's White House prohibited children from submitting religious egg designs for their Easter art event and formally proclaimed Easter Sunday as Trans Day of Visibility. Sadly, these are just two more examples of the Biden administration's years-long assault on the Christian faith. We call on Joe Biden's failing campaign and White House to issue an apology to the millions of Catholics and Christians across America who believe tomorrow is for one celebration only, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Podcaster Patrick Bet David urged Christians to fight back and stand their ground and to be afraid of God because many fear the nation is headed towards extremely dark times. This is why as of last year I stopped praying for tolerance because of the things that's taking place by Christians being way too tolerant with the behavior that's taking place from the White House. Leadership at the top announcing that on Easter Sunday tomorrow for many of you that will be going to church to celebrate. You know what you're celebrating? Resurrection. The White House chose to celebrate transgenders. The 0.1% of America, transgenders, who in many cases are going through challenges both mentally and emotionally, but we're wanting to celebrate the 0.1%, not the Christian nation, not the Christian leaders who have done incredible things for this country and the level of disgrace that this brings to us as a country, to the rest of the world, that our president wrote this and announced this yesterday for Sunday is a spit in the face to many Christians around the nation and you, you shouldn't be okay with this and you ought to stand up for yourself and realize that this is not acceptable. It's time for Christians to stop being so tolerant with this type of behavior. By the way, this isn't a left, right, center thing. This is if you're a Christian and your life, God, comes before your political party, you ought to stand up. If your political party comes before your faith, don't do anything about it. You decide what you value more, how you vote or how you pray. If we get those orders right, the future looks bright. But if we stop fearing God and no longer wanting the favor of God, the future doesn't look as bright as we think it does.